Hey guys, today we talk about the Retro Air Jordan 11 72 tens. Tune in! Hey guys, welcome to Casa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. What you've all been waiting for, the Retro Air Jordan 11s in the red, black, and also white colorway, aka the 72 and 10s. Man oh man, glad to have caught these sneakers on a restock from Chic. I had them back in 2015, but I had worn them so much that they weren't even attractive to wear anymore. So gladly and happily I caught a pair when I had the opportunity online. Getting straight into the review, what sticks out to me now and stuck out to me back in 2015 was the quality of the upper when it came to the 72 Intense. As you notice, it is a fine, nice tumbled leather at the top and surprisingly enough, this tumbled leather runs into or underneath the patent leather as you can see. And you can see that the patent leather also has some shimmery, kind of shiny, glossy, you know, textures to it, which I think matches appropriately with this sneaker. So I was glad that the quality was extremely high when it came to the making of this 72 and 10 sneaker. In addition to that, I really like the fact that they went with the melty bottom, and this is another thing that attracted me back when I purchased the shoe in 2015. You know, to me, I felt like having the melty bottom would kind of negate the dirt or, you know, any type of yellowing that you know could have happened in the future although my old ones wish I had them with me yellowed but you know I felt like it wasn't as bad as having that icy uh, blue bottom that uh, comes with a lot of the Jordan 11 so I was really glad to see that so pricing wise for this sneaker it ran for $220 today and also back in the day and I know that you know caused a lot of people not to purchase the shoe due to the increase in the cost of Jordans. So sizing wise, I went a half size up. Ugh. My old Jordan 11s, AKA the 72 and 10s, I got them in a size 12 and a half. And for some odd reason, my left pinky toe Ugh, pain all the time. So I'm glad to have got this a uh, half size up. But that might just be my weird foot. I don't know about you guys, but if you guys were to ask me today what size to get for these, I would say go a half size up. I even got, you know, the Space Jams in size 12 and a half, and I have the same phenomenon going on with my left pinky toe. I don't know why it's just my left pinky toe. So I decided to just, you know, this time around get 13. So I'll most likely be getting 13 when it comes to Jordan 11. So again, I would say go a half size up. So Casa question of the day guys, were you able to get a new 72 and 10 pair of Jordan 11s on these uh, recent restocks on Chic and uh, even in the past on Finish Line, etc, etc? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also let me know what you guys think about Jordan 11 72 10s in general. Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up for today. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if I gave you guys some dope information today about the 72 and 10 Jordan 11s. In addition to that, make sure you hit that notification button so you guys don't miss any other dope sneaker content happening on the channel. Make sure also to subscribe to my homies, The Heat Hoarders. They have some dope sneaker content on their channel as well, and I'll leave it down in the description below. But until next time, guys, I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces.